before starting the tutorial, I just want to make it clear that if you've not upgraded the RAM in your Phantom, it's, you're only going to have a maximum of 32 megabytes of memory. Uh, according to the manual, this gives you 6 minutes of mono or 3 minutes of stereo sampling. If that's going to be a problem for you, just email Roland and ask them what RAM they recommend. They're very helpful with it. If not, let's crack on. Okay, so this video today is on how to get your tracks from your Phantom sequencer onto your computer. There's probably a couple of ways to do this, but I'm just going to show you the method that I'm most familiar with and most comfortable with. First thing you need to do is make sure that your track is completed and finished, so you want to have the, all your panning, uh, all your effects, reverb, mastering, anything else like that in there. Make sure that you've got all your tracks, both audio and MIDI, at the right volume level. Um, and as you can see, I've got some MIDI information there, and I've also got a couple of audio tracks, and I'm happy with all the settings, so here's my track. <laughs> Okay, so I'm happy with how it sounds, so skip back to the beginning, and then you want to press the sampling button. Uh, one thing you want to make note of is that you don't have any uh, looping on, so uh, on the sequencer screen you want to make sure that this button under the loop locate isn't lit, because otherwise it will loop around and mess up your sample. Okay, so go to sampling, and then you've got three different choices here, which are the main ones that you'll want to look at. Sampling, F1 is external audio only, um, which obviously I've got MIDI information in the Phantom and audio in the Phantom which I want to capture, so I don't want that one. Resampling is for internal audio only, so if you've got anything external, um, like say another another synthesizer that you, the Phantom's sending MIDI to, and then it's being captured if, into the audio inputs, uh, resampling won't be suitable because uh, it's internal only. If you've got both internal and external audio, you're going to want to use mix. Uh, for my example, I'm only using internal, so resampling, F2. You want to make sure that the stereo switch is on, and all the other settings you don't really need to look at. If you want to know what they are, just look them up in the manual. So you press uh, skip back to the start of the track, and then press F8 to start, and then play. when the sample's finished and you see the two audio bars at the top of the sampling screen go down to nothing, then press F7 to stop and you take them to the sample edit screen. If you press F3, you can zoom in vertically with the cursors. You can see the four clicks I've got at the start there. So it's a bit of silence before them. So I'll just trim that down a bit. Yep, happy with that. So sample modify, F6. Then truncate F1. What this does is it chops off that bit at the start, and if I had any at the end as well. Uh, let's just double check actually. See if there's anything that I don't want. Yeah, have about there. So, so sample modify, truncate, overwrite, basically overwrites the sample we've got here. So as you can see, it's uh, card 31, and it's stereo, so it'll be 31 or 32 and uh, I'm editing that, I'm happy with the edit, so overwrite and execute, confirm. Okay, so once the truncating is finished, you've got your track Sorted, finished, completed on your Phantom. So at this point, you want to press right on the side of right hand side of the screen, and then enter for sample or F3, and then title it what you want. I'm just going to call it a uh, solo track or guitar solo. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So press F8 for right, and then take note here we're on the card. Doesn't matter if you don't have one, but make sure you know where you're saving it. Card and number 31 and then press F8 to write 
and confirm. Okay, so the sample's written to the phantom and we're happy with that, it's all finished. So what you need to do now is press exit and then press menu and scroll down to USB storage. Now at this point you'll want to connect a USB cable to the back of the phantom and then select where your track is saved, either the internal memory of the phantom or the memory card. So because my song's saved to the memory card, I need to press F6 for the memory card and then if you've got your USB cable connected that screen will appear and the red lit USB access means it's transferring data so you should never disconnect it uh, when that's lit and the arrows are moving. Okay, so now I'll show you the screenshots from the computer and what you do next. So once you've connected your phantom to the computer, the computer will prompt you with the following screen and you want to open the folder to view files and then you'll see two folders, Roland and TMP for temp. You want to go into the Roland folder and then SMPL or sampling and here you'll find all the samples that are on your memory whether it's the card or the phantom's internal memory that you've selected and this is why I needed to make note earlier of uh, where you were saving the track to. For me it was uh, 31 on the card so I'll just copy and paste 31 and save it to where I want on my computer and rename it. Okay, so once you've transferred your track to the computer and renamed it, um, on the computer you'll want to right-click on the Phantom X card and safely remove device, and then wait till you see the screen like this on the Phantom without USB access, lit up red, and without the arrows spinning. Then you can press F8 to exit, and again to execute. So that's how you transfer your finished songs from the Phantom X to your computer. Hope this video has been helpful to you. If there's anything that I've been unclear about, please ask. Thank you for watching.